Hello everyone and welcome to yet another interesting video. Now in this video we are going to talk about what is a bus coupler. Now you would have heard this name in the substation uh, or in the single line diagram you would have seen a bay named as bus coupler bay. Now what is this bus coupler bay and why do we need it? Is it really useful? We are going to talk everything about uh, bus coupler in this video. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So on the screen right now what you can see is a simple single bus bar arrangement that is generally used in the substation which are you know 36 kV or 72.5 kV. Now the problem with this type of arrangement is that let's say if there is a fault on the bus bar the complete substation is gonna face that impact right the complete substation is gonna go off. Uh, so here what you can see is I have, I have only shown a disconnector and circuit breaker just for simplicity purpose. Of course there will be a lot other equipments and if you are interested in knowing about all the equipments that we use and what is their function then I have a quick revision video on that. I will provide link for that video down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. So this is the single bus bar arrangement as we discussed. The problem with this is if there is a fault the whole substation is gonna turn off right so to avoid this thing what we can do is we can make a little bit of variation in this and we can use a double bus bar arrangement so what you can see on your screen is a simple double bus bar arrangement so this is our bus 1 and this is our bus 2 so here we have one incoming bay uh, then we have one outgoing bay and there is outgoing bay 2 again for simplicity purpose i am only showing disconnectors and circuit breakers but there will be lot other equipments as well now the advantage of this type of arrangement is that you can connect some load on bus 1 and some load on bus 2 so if let's say there is a fault on bus 1 only the load that is connected to bus 1 will suffer that the bus 2 will keep on giving the power to the customers right so that is the advantage of having the double bus bar arrangement and definitely using this arrangement you can also transfer one bay from bus 1 to bus 2 or vice versa that is possible. So how we can do it well there are two ways let us understand that one by one. So let us say we have connected our incoming to bus 1 here you can see the green line outgoing is connected to bus 2 and the second outgoing is also connected to the bus Two. Now uh, let's say on bus 2 there is an overload and I want to transfer some of my load from bus 2 to bus 1. Now that is possible when we are using a double bus bar arrangement. Right. So how do we do it? Well the one way is first of all you know turn off both the buses. So I have turned off bus 1 and bus 2 so there is no supply right now. Of course because of that all my substation has gone off. Now with this what I can do is I can open this disconnector which was connected to bus 1 earlier and then close the disconnector that is connected to bus 1 right here you see we have closed this. Now once that is closed I can put my supply back and then you can see my outgoing 2 is now transferred to bus 1. But is it the right solution? Is it the feasible solution? Well of course the answer is no. Why? Because while transferring the uh, outgoing 2 bay to bus 1 we had to completely turn off the substation so my incoming was lost, my outgoing 1 was lost and definitely my outgoing 2 was also lost. So it is of no use basically right. Uh, if you have to take out the complete substation it's it, it just do not make any sense and that is not the right solution. It do not offer any flexibility. So there is a simple solution to this uh, using that you can actually transfer one bay from another bay uh, one bay from one bus to another bus in a live supply without doing without taking any shutdown and what is that solution of course the solution is the bus coupler now bus coupler is it a something something fancy device some, something complicated device no it is not bus coupler is simply a combination of some disconnectors and a circuit breaker right and using this combination we can actually transfer one bay 
uh, from one bus to another bus in live condition right even if you have to carry out a maintenance on bus 1 you can't completely transfer all the all the load to bus 2 and carry out the maintenance on bus 1 so that flexibility it offers and that is the bus coupler now how it operates we will learn about that before we understand what is bus coupler you need to go and check out the courses dot the electrical guy dot in there you will find courses on dc machines transformer substation and a very important course on circuit breaker control schematics if you want to become from beginner to advanced then this course is for you you will learn everything about circuit breaker secondary components what is opening circuit what is closing circuit all the wiring logics into that you will learn everything directly from the industry experts definitely go and check it out it is helping a lot of people already and i'm also sure that if you are the relevant person this will also help you out definitely go and check it out very very helpful now let's get back to our bus coupler now why it is called as bus coupler as the name suggests it couples the two buses and hence the name is bus coupler and using this we can transfer the load from one bus to another bus in live condition no need to take any shutdown how it happens let us understand that so let's say uh, we'll consider the same situation we have connected uh, our bus 2 is overloaded and now i want to transfer some of my load to bus 1 so in that case what we are going to do is we are going to use a bus coupler so in normal operating condition the dis both these disconnectors are in open condition and also the circuit breaker is in open condition now i want to transfer this outgoing bay to bus 1 so for that what i have to do is first we need to close these two disconnectors we have closed it once that disconnector is closed then we need to close the circuit breaker now the moment you close the bus coupler circuit breaker uh, you have created only one bus right you can see the supply will flow like this then again here from this breaker it will go to the bus 2 and then here so it is basically a one bus there is no potential difference between bus 1 and bus 2 so now to make it visually more understanding let us focus on this figure right here so this is how it is looking basically you have made bus 1 and bus 2 as one bus using the bus coupler you have coupled these two buses and you can see all the disconnectors are now connected to one bus only so in this case even if you open the disconnector it is not a problem because there is no potential difference across the contacts of disconnector so there won't be any sparking there won't be any uh, you know heavy sparking that will happen so in this situation you can open and close the disconnector there is no problem with that right understood so basically we have made one bus out of two buses using the bus coupler now let us get back to our original view so we have closed the uh, circuit breaker of bus coupler here so i will draw it for you here also so now what is happening is power is going like this it will go to the bus coupler from bus coupler it will go to the bus 2 and then from bus 2 like this it will go from like this right this is how it is going now since i have coupled the buses what i can do is i can close this particular disconnector here this disconnector so now i have also connected to my bus 1 once it is connected i am going to open this disconnector so i have opened it right and now i have transferred the outgoing bay 2 to bus 1 while keeping my supply on none of the other bays were affected the supply was on and i have transferred it once it is transferred what we have to do is we have to make sure we are opening the circuit breaker the circuit breaker is opened once the breaker is opened the disconnectors are also opened now again we have created two separate bus bars we have transferred the bay to uh, outgoing bay 2 to bus 1 in live condition did we take any shutdown no we did not right so this is the advantage this bus coupler brings in the substation very very important and this double bus bar arrangement is generally used for 145 and 245 kv substation you will find majority of the substation with double bus bar arrangement and you will also find a bus coupler bay installed in that right very very important to understand 
and also very very interesting i hope you have understood what is bus coupler and what is the function of the bus coupler if you found it useful i would really appreciate if you can like this video and put your comments in the comment box that really helps me uh, motivate and also uh, it will help the video to reach to more audience so thank you so much for watching guys definitely go and check out courses.theelectricalguide.in it offers great courses very very helpful already helping lot of people and i'm very sure it will also help you right so that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning